so you can charge either with your solar panel that comes with it this panel with the cord and then you can also charge with electricity electricity connect to light and you charge your So here is how the solar aerator comes in this brown box and all the details are written on it even how to set it up the diagram is shown on the carton so let's open so we can see all the accessories that come with of course a manual a manual that helps you to to guide you on how to set up and all the buttons everything you need but it's very simple not complicated at all very simple you can see that the manual is very very small and then it comes with these accessories like this we have hair hooks we have air stones we have no return valves this is the first set of air hooks um four pieces of it then we have this two piece also comes with it then we have this black item and then the next thing we have the non return valve and all the screws and the air stones here in this back and then um, the next thing is um we have the aerator itself okay first off we have the charger for charging this is the one you use in charging with electricity so if you have lights this aerator is a two-way charging it charges both with electricity and also with the solar panel so this is the aerator itself that's the powerhouse the main aerator so when you put it on the light comes on and you can see you can feel the pressure of hair coming out from those holes you put it up, the light goes off. So that's the main aerator. Set that aside. Then we have the stand. The stand for the solar panel. That's the stand for the solar panel. When you want to charge with your solar. That's the panel right here. So it comes with its own panel for charging with solar. That's the cord. You use it to charge. So we'll be setting all these items up right now. That is all that comes in the box of the solar aerator. Everything you need for complete setup is inside. So we'll be setting it up, each of these accessories, one after the other. Remember, this aerator is a four outlet aerator. So it comes with four air stones. It comes with two non return valves. That blue item you are seeing there are non return valves. And it has two duplicators two duplicators let's connect the um the stand for the solar um, panel the panel itself let's connect the stand first of all So right now, the stand is all set. You place it under the sun for complete solar power. It's way to get enough solar power to charge your aerator. So that's the stand all set. So let's move on to setting up the air stones, the hair hose. You remember it comes with a lot of two different sets of hair hose. First, the one that has just two pieces and then we have the one that has four pieces. So we'll start with the one that has two pieces. That's the port for charging, either with your electricity cord or with your solar cord. That's the same port you use in charging. Then you have the two 
mouth where the first two holes will go into. So that's what we're doing right now. The first two small pieces of holes would go into that um, two outlets there. And these two outlets will be split into four. We're going to make it into four because that's how the manufacturer has designed it based on the accessories that it comes with. So we are going to fix in our non-return valve into in between these first two um, hair holes that we have connected. We're going to get the scissors. We're going to split this air hose, this two that we just fixed. We are going to split it in between so that we can connect our non-return valve. The importance of a non-return valve is that it prevents water from coming into your aerator, into that main power out, that white box. It will prevent water from going inside because if water goes inside, it will damage your aerator. And this particular non-return valve that comes with this um, package has the details you need, the in and the out, where air will come in from and where air will go out from. So it is indicated on its out, so you know where to place it. So when the outside will face outside, where the air will come out from, why the in is one that will go in. The in is the one I'm fixing in right now. It goes in, the out will face out because air has to go out. So that's it. In between those um, holes, I have placed this non return valve and I'm going to put in the remaining part of the hair holes back. That's exactly what I'm doing for that. So that's all done. The next thing now is to split these two hair holes into four. That's the essence of that um, duplicator. So in each end of these two hair holes that we have fixed, we are going to put in this duplicator. That's what I'm doing. So just watch closely exactly how I'm doing it. That's exactly how you will set it up. Now the two is at the end. We are now going to put in our four hair holes that the manufacturer has included in the package. The remaining four, we are going to fix it at the end. And at the complete tail end, we will also put our air stones. So just watch closely as I fix in this four hair holes. So at this point, I'm all done. All four air holes has been fixed to the initial two, and now I've also fixed the air stones, the four air stones that comes in the package has also been fixed. So we have four outlets. We now have four air stones that we can drop into our water, into either our aquarium water, or into your hash rate baths, or your small water fish ponds. Remember, this aerator is only designed for small water bodies now this black item on this video is a stand 
four stands you are going to fix it into that hole just for it to stand it helps to prevent your erector from moving up and down when you place it in as it's vibrating it will be moving because of that rubber stand it has so that's the essence and remember that's the port for charging you charge either with this electricity cord or with a solar panel so don't forget you can charge with your solar panel and you can also charge with the electricity cord this white one and while you're charging you can be using your retro yes it is possible to use your retro so this is a complete setup right now and the next thing we're going to do is to put it into a sample water so that we can see how it works So for the purpose of demonstration, we'll be using this plastic bowl with water inside. You're going to assume that this is your hash river or your small pond that you want to aerate your water. Remember, aeration of ponds is very important in fish farming because it helps to increase or improve the oxygen level in your water. And remember, these fishes need this oxygen in order for them to survive. The aerator is on now, you can see it right now. That's the bubbling effect of what an aerator does. That's exactly what an aerator does. It gives that bubbling effect in your fish pond, thereby improving the oxygen level in your water, improving it for your fishes to thrive well. For you to use this aerator, it's important that you charge it well. Charge either with this your solar panel or you charge with the electricity cord. That's it, it's on. If I put it off, the bubbles goes off you can see it so that's how it works you can see the solar aerator working right now without being charged because it's already charged i did not connect any of the panel i didn't connect the panel i didn't connect it to electricity to charge only it's standing alone it's working so it has an endurance time of around five to six hours if it is fully charged you can aerate your water even when there's no solar and even when there's no light so it keeps working for you So don't forget, there are two ways to charge this aerator. You either charge using electricity, this is the cord to charge with electricity. You get a USB head and you plug it in to charge because this item has battery. It has an inbuilt battery. So you need to charge it. You charge it with electricity or you charge with your solar panel. This is also the solar panel like this. And remember to always place your solar panel directly under the sun. That is why it has a stand. So you would need to place it under the sun and then you connect the cord also into the same hole, into the same pot. So you can charge either with your solar panel that comes with it, this panel with the cord, and then you can also charge with electricity. Electricity, connect to light and you charge your inbuilt battery. This is the aerator itself. Like we demonstrated right now, we did not. It's already charged and is working. So I put it on again, you can see, once it's on, and then it's aerating. It has an inbuilt battery that can last you for, say, six hours, five to six hours max, after it is fully charged. And if you still have sunlight, you can continue, you plug in your solar, and it keeps working. That is why it is a solar-powered aerator. So, that's it all, guys. So... Thank you.